So today we're unboxing the power chisel and we're going to see if I was happy or not with how it did on the outside of this mahogany bowl. Today what we're going to be looking at is the power chisel. Now the power chisel is a separate power unit from the Arbitech power carving unit. This stays permanently set up as this power carving chisel. You don't take it off and put it on like you do with the power carving unit. Previous installments, we looked at all of their tools. We then looked at the power carving unit with the turbo plane and the industrial wood carver. We looked at their small cutters, their turbo shaft, their ball gouge, their mini turbo kit with the two inch cutter on it. And then we looked at their sanding stuff, their four inch sanding disc, their two inch sanding disc that goes onto the mini turbo kit and then the two inch sanding disc that goes on the contour sander, which actually provides an orbital action during the sanding process. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox, we're gonna look at the power chisel, and then we are going to chisel the backside of this bowl and texture the outside of that. Before we get to the unboxing, I wanna show you a couple of the pieces that I've done in the past and the piece that I'm working on right now, which is why I want to have the power chisel. Oftentimes, some of the forms that I put in my furniture are, are very organic, and on the outside of them, I like to provide a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest, and I do that often through chip carving. And I'm hoping that the power chisel is gonna make that easier. You can see here, these are a couple of pieces that I have made in the past, and you can see uh, the texture on the end of these benches or on the underside of these benches that has been chip carved in order to provide a little bit of interest, a little bit of um, texture to the outside of it, some visual interest to the outside of it. And then this is the piece that I'm working on right now. It's called the Bluestone Bench, and uh, the ends of that are gonna have that textured chip carving on the outside. And so you can see that if this works well, that my life will be a lot easier as I finish this piece, this bluestone bench, and other pieces that I do in the future. All right, let's see what's inside. Instructions, a set of brushes. So the chisels that are in a roll. There is a, uh, an extra felt pad, which holds the oil that lubricates the chisel. And then there is some oil that you use to lubricate the back side of the bump unit in the power carving unit. So the power carving unit has a head on it and inside there is the bump action that actually is supposed to be very fine and pushes the chisel through the wood. These chisels simply um, snap into here. Hear that snap? When you want to get it out, there is a button on the bottom. You press that button in and you can see there's a spring in there that actually pushes that out a little bit and you can just pull that out. So um, the chisels come fairly sharp, but of course one of the things with carving in general is that you have to maintain the chisels and you have to keep them sharp. So that'll be a part of the process. The oil, actually there's a small hole on the back here. That's where the oil goes and you're supposed to oil it, I think they said every 15 minutes you, you are supposed to oil that. So I'm going to uh, choose this chisel, uh, which is their large gouge, and uh, we're gonna do the texturing on the back side of that with, with the large gouge. Quickly here, let me go over the chisels that they do have. They have the large gouge, they have a small gouge, they have a small gouge that is a very deep gouge. Then there is a fourth gouge, which is a, a flatter gouge. There are two V chisels. One that's at a 90 degree angle and the other that's at a 60 degree angle. And then there is a flat chisel. So those are the seven chisels that they give with the unit. Now, one of the things that I think is true is that this is what we are limited to in terms of chisels with this. I have a, a roll of chisels over in my tool cabinet and I probably have 30 different chisels in that roll. So um, if, if you're getting chisels for, uh, for carving, there are a lot more options if you go with hand chisels, but of course this supposedly gives um, other benefits. All right, I've got this piece into the end vise and I've got the chisel that I'm gonna use on this for right now. 
And one of the things that I found is while these chisels are fairly sharp, they are not in good enough shape by my standards anyways to, uh, to do the chiseling that I need to do. So I have gone in, I actually had to grind off an eighth of an inch off of the edge of this because the edge on the inside was rounded over. And so I had to grind an eighth of an inch off on that and then reestablish this bevel back down to that point and then bring it up to a, a, a polish. And, um, and so I'm pretty happy with the way it's, I was actually cutting on the back side of this to test things out, out as I was cutting it. So I'm pretty happy. So I'm gonna show you how it's cutting now. We'll do the test cuts here. there that is um that's cutting okay i'm still getting some tear out here where i wouldn't necessarily expect it with a hand chisel so i'm still playing around with that i will say that this experience as opposed to using a hand chisel this is a pure pleasure it is uh it is easy to control it moves through with a fair amount of ease so i'm a lot happier actually using it it's just whether or not i can get the level of finish that I want. All right, so I got the bowl clamped down at the end of the vise, and I'm gonna just start texturing here. Uh, one of the things you always have to be conscious of when you're working with wood, and certainly when you're chiseling wood, is the grain direction. So this here is, uh, the, the grain is running here. I'm gonna start here and work my way towards the front of the bowl, and then I'll have to start here and work my way around the back of the bowl. see that but uh, that was the uh, texture that I was hoping to get on the outside of this and um, yeah that's working really well so yeah so I'm happy with uh, how that has come out in terms of that, that's exactly what I'd want. It's gonna take a, just a, I'll probably do just a little bit of finish sanding. I'm gonna just, just touch up this edge here um, with the uh, power chisel, I think. I will clamp this down and then just go around this edge. Yeah, so overall I'd say I'm pretty happy with the power chisel. It has uh, done exactly what I was hoping it was gonna do on the, on the outside of this and did it with a lot less effort than if I was uh, doing that with a with a manual chisel. Uh, like with everything, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think uh, I think that was pretty short for for this. And um, looking forward to seeing how this bowl uh, finishes up here. But uh, yeah, so exactly what I was hoping for. So again, this is the Arbortech Power Chisel and the seven chisel set that it has. And uh, this is Todd Wolf with Made by Wolf, encouraging you to get out there. Try new tools, try new things, and make something today.